I'd now like to show you a fairly cheap, simple, easy way of making beer. And it's from a kit, a can kit. And these things, you can get them, get them anywhere in any brew shop, no problem. And basically all you do is, you pull the lid off, and it comes with a set of instructions, and a packet of yeast in the top. So all you gotta do is read what it says, and uh, away you go. And basically what you do is you dissolve what's in the can, which is a malt extract, which was the whole process of the mashing, and this is just a concentrated version. You mix that with some hot water, some sugar, um, and then you top it up with cold water to make the requisite 23 litres. And then once the temperature's right, between 21 and 25 degrees, you pitch your yeast in again, give it a stir, and then ferment it out for a week. Okay, now we've got to open the tin. Okay, all you do is you tip your can into your fermenting bin. And as you can see, this is a really thick sort of treacly sort of stuff. Okay, so give your tin a bit of a scrape out with a spoon or a spatula if you want to get all of this stuff out of, the, out of there and into your brew. And then basically rinse out the tin a couple of times with some hot water just from the tap. And basically just chuck them into your brew as well, that's no problem. Give them a bit of a stir. The next part, once you've dissolved your malt extract in your hot water, is to put in your sugar. So basically in this case, it's uh, one kilo of sugar, and that just gets tipped in. And once the sugar's in there as well, give it a good stir to dissolve that round. And basically once your sugar's all dissolved in there, you're ready to top up to the required level. Right, you now top up your, your water in your bin up to 23 litres as per the instructions. Once you've uh, got it up to 23 litres, just give it a good stir around to make sure that everything's in the mix there. And then what you need to do next is check the temperature because you don't want it too hot for when you're pitching the yeast. We need to pitch the yeast into our, into our fermenting bin there. So again, just like before, just sprinkle it over the top. Give it a good stir in so it all mixes up. That's a bit of air in there as well, which will help kickstart the yeast. And once that's done, pop your lid on it. Leave it for five to seven days to ferment out.